what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hi everyone, Eitan is here. Thank you for joining us today for another video of the 3D printing experts. Today we are going to explore one of the coolest usage of 3D printing in my opinion, which is the RC car. So let's get started. So today I'm here with good friends of mine, Gal. Hi everyone, my name is Gal Naim. I am the CEO of Make It, where we turn ideas into reality. And uh, today we're going to talk about a little project that we finally got around to making. Uh, the car that was designed by Daniel Nere. So this is the man that behind this project, right? Exactly. He actually put lots of time and effort into build, designing this project and also he shared it with all, all of us. And uh, anyone in the 3D printing field, uh, all the makers, they've all seen this project and thought about making it. So uh, we finally got around to printing it. And. Uh, we're going to talk about the process. Alright, so where we can find all the project and uh, the STL fires if we want to print this car? Okay, so we'll put a link below with all the information where you can get all the files and also the electronics. What kind of electronics do you have inside this car? Okay, so this is a very basic RC car. I'm, uh, I'm not an RC expert, but I figured it out at the end. Uh, and we basically have one motor that's connected straight to these hot back to the rear wheels, a server in the middle that controls the front wheels, a speed controller, a receiver. I think that's pretty much it. So Gal, maybe you can share with us what kind of materials did you use in order to print? What is the white one and the black one? Okay, so I only use actually three materials on this whole car. Most of the exterior is the ABS. The two front shafts I had to print in nylon because they've been breaking too often. And also the tires are made out of TPU, which unfortunately wasn't sticky enough, so I had to add some silicone so I'll get better traction. So I know that your car a little bit crashed from one of the accidents of the, the experiments that you made. So we are going to use today in printing software in order to print it. All right, so let's go to the computer and uh, let's start it. Okay, I got into Prince's website, which I will put a link in the description down below. The first step will be to click on the setup printer button. Now, let's upload the model that Gal asked me to print, which is the rear rim. We can see that we have a preview for our model. Let's choose the printer that we are going to use, which is the Ultimaker 2. Meanwhile, the software going to repair the model, if it's needed, choose the best printing parameters and orientation for our model. All that remains is to download the G-Code and send it to the printer. What do you think about print software? Well, first of all, I think it's the right step forward. It will definitely like, make 3D printing easier. You will no longer need to think about support, orientation, any of that stuff. Even layer height will not be relevant anymore. And uh, so far, let's see. We're going to print a part and see what, how, what the quality is. Alright, so we print the part. Uh, we use the printing software. What do you think about the part? Quality looks great. I have to say the supports, supports cleaned up really nicely. And uh, I don't know, let's connect it and see how it drives. All right, let's start. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna replace the rim. We're gonna remove the old rim. Open the screw. Then we take it out with the cap. Lift the tire and the rim together. A bit of a stuck fit. Well, it was broken anyway. Now we take the new rim that we printed with Princess. Snug it into place. Push it down. Close it up. All right, now we're ready to take it for a spin. everyone.
thank you for joining this video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video from the 3D printing experts. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment which kind of topics you would like us to cover. Thank you for Gal. And also don't forget to follow us over at Make It where we're going to keep uploading lots of interesting content for the world of 3D printing. Thank you and see you next time. Bye!